Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Ultramaker Cura. I'm going to show you the basics, guys. If you've got a 3D printer and you want to know the basics of setting up a model, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to go over a little program called Cura or Ultramaker Cura. Basically, it's a free program that takes your STL files and slices them up to make G-code so you can 3D print your objects. So I'm gonna show you how to use the basics of this today just to get your feet wet and learn how to take your STL file and turn it into a G-code file so you could 3D print it. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get over to the computer and show you how to do this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go open up a browser and you're gonna go to Ultramaker Maker.com, click on software, and then go to Cure. We're going to download it. And I'll leave a link for this down below. But we're going to click download. And I'm doing it for a Mac. And we're at 4.7. So we're going to download now. Once that's done downloading. We'll go to the download folder. We'll click on that. Click on Ultramaker, the DMG file. And we're going to skip that because I know it's saved. All right. And uh, I'm going to just click and drag this into my applications. And it'll transfer over. And once that's done, we can't just go ahead and click on it. If we go right here. If you're running a Mac, I'm just letting you know this is one of those things that Apple stops, which is a good thing. Apple stops things from happening. But if I click on this, oh, wait, maybe it is certified. It usually comes up with a mess. There it is. All right, so you just hit OK. So you go into your applications, you look for the Cura, and you go to Open. And it'll tell you blah, 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 blah. This isn't safe. And you click Open anyway and it'll load and open up. All right, so it says, welcome to Ultramaker. Please follow the steps, get started. Disclaimer, I agree. Next, Cura, next. You could do this account thing, I didn't do it. Skip, and now we're gonna add a printer. You don't want network printer, you want to add a non-network printer. Not unless you do have a no network printer, that's up to you, but we're gonna scroll down until we find, I have an Ender 3, so that's what we're gonna look for. So it's gonna be under Creality. 3D there. We're going to go for just a standard Ender 3. Click on that and it's called Creality Ender 3. You could rename your printer if you want right here. I would just leave it Creality Ender 3. Click Next. Not unless you have multiple ones. Wow, they actually updated this. I had to actually put this in when I first set it up. They say it's actually 220, but the actual real size is 235. And I actually use it at this and it actually have no problem with that. So I use everything basic. This is all the correct information. So I don't have to show you this part. Wow, they actually did a really good job cleaning this up. Yeah, everything looks great. Let's just hit next. All right, so it was that easy to set up for your printer. And I love, one of the things I love, love, love about is the Ender logos right on there so you can see which way this is facing. I think this is a great thing for this program is that if you face the model going out towards the Ender, that's the front of the actual printer, so. All right, so controls for navigating inside this space. If you right click, so the button on the far right, you could spin around the area. Uh, another way, if you want to just make it quicker, you can hold down on control and then you can left click and you can do the same thing. If you have a scroll wheel, you can scroll in, scroll out. I have a magic mouse, so I actually just scroll in, scroll out. I just wave my finger up and down if you're on a Mac. If you hold down on shift, you can pan from side to side. So those are the simple controls for how to navigate in this. This is gonna be a basic tutorial. I just wanna show you around real quick. The first thing we wanna do is you could look at your nozzle and materials. I do wanna talk about this real quick material wise. You have pre-made materials in here. You can manage your materials. Generic has been working good for me for Hatchbox. So I just go to generic and then PLA and it's been working with Hatchbox and it's been working with the Overture. So, you know, stuff that's around 190 to 220, you can use the generic. Every so often you'll have a material that you're gonna need to add and one for me is Tech Bear. I'm just gonna show you real quick how to set it up. So we're gonna go to Manage Materials. We'll click on that. We're gonna go to Create and it's a custom material and we're gonna display the name and I just put Tech Bear and then the brand I'm gonna call Tech Bear, the color, we're just gonna call it generic for now. So Tech Bear, and I'll show you the filament cost. We're gonna change that in a minute. We want it to be, I've been having luck at, I believe 210. I'm gonna up this, 210. And the bed, 
at 70 because this stuff works better when it's a higher temperature. Any filament you get, it's trial and error, guys. You just got to play with it and see if it works for you or if it doesn't work for you. That's what works for me. Printing temperature is going to be 210. Default build plate temperature is going to be 70. But you could do all this other stuff. I, I haven't touched any of this stuff. Fan speed, I know some people will play with that. This has been what's been working for me with this particular brand. Now, they do have it on the spool. You can actually see it. Sometimes they'll have it on the spool. What the actual parameters should be and you can even look it up that's all i needed to do and now if you look here we got tech bear pla tech bear tech bear i don't know why it's you know i guess the brand and display name i could call it because it's white i could call it white tech bear and i could actually change the color if i wanted right here but i'm not going to do that i like it when it's yellow kind of gives you an idea and that's done so we just close that out and now if we click tech bear if i want to print this in tech bear which i'm going to probably print this model in tech bear because that's what i'm playing with right now and you just click the PLA tech bear and then it's automatically set. Now you do have to remember to change that. So I just wanted to show you that because I think that's important when you're adjusting materials. So another thing I wanted to show you was over here, standard quality. You're going to spend a lot of time in here. I tend to stick at this 0.2. So 0.2 is what I usually stick at. If you want more finer detail, you can go there. I don't see a huge difference from going from 0.2 to 0.12. It does make more detail, but I haven't seen it enough to actually do anything. Infill, that's how actually what the interior of the actual infill would be of the object. So you would actually change that I'm gonna change that we're gonna go to 10% for this particular model that I'm gonna show you my rule of thumb so far and I've, I've been playing with this for probably about almost three months now do supports if we have islands and I'll show you that as we go into this tutorial and adhesion this I build a rim around my objects if I have supports that need to be reinforced and make sure that they stick to the bed I use that so basically this is to build sticks going to your model to hold it up and this is actually building a rim around your object and that's how I use it I mean there's other things you could do but I don't want to get into that from now but now if you go over to custom you can change a whole bunch of stuff in here let's first get just the basic model loaded up and I'll show you what to do so let's go over to the website again and we're gonna go to you can go to Thingiverse I'm gonna go to my mini factory because I got some really nice models over there and we're gonna do we're gonna do a Batman today guys let's do a Batman because I know a lot of people like to print figures I'm gonna do a basic Batman bust and I have one in mind which all right so I'm gonna go with this one here I've seen it several times we're gonna go with this one we'll click on this one man I always wind up with this guy's uh, models I, I really got to send him some money because I, I wind up going after a lot of his models we're gonna download this download only let that go it's gonna go into your download folder and in this case we don't have to unzip it usually you have to unzip them this one if you hit spacebar you can actually view it so let's bring that into cure and I'll show you how that works so we'll minimize this again open up cure big and nice okay and we're gonna click on this folder right here and you're gonna import your model okay yes we're gonna allow access stop the crap and we're gonna go to downloads and we'll click on the Batman model which is an STL file. You're gonna get mainly STL files. Every so often you'll get like an object file, but usually it's an STL file. There's your Batman, and this kind of gives you an idea what size you can print. Now this is, this is too big. I mean, you may want to do this size. I don't. It's too big. I'm going to show you the basic tools first. That would probably help. All right. So if you click on Batman here, you'll see the arrow going up and down. You can actually put the millimeters you want to move it, or you can actually move him any which way you want. And if you click on him and you right click, you can click center model, you can delete select a model, you can multiply a model, and then I don't really use all these. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, but these are the three I really use, center model, delete selected, and multiply selected. So, you know, if you wanted to multiply it, you could, let's say you want to do a bunch of them, you can multiply it, and we could do number of copies. If you put one, it'll duplicate it once. If you go up higher, it'll duplicate it higher. So if we hit one, now there's another duplicate. And if we click on him, and we go to delete, it'll delete that model. That's your movement. You can move X, Y, Z. You know, you move any which way you want. You got your size. We can size them. Um, it's stuck at uniform size. You could take that off and then you could just, you know, you can make a super thin Batman to do something cool like that. But if you hit Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. So that's your size. And then you got your rotation. A lot of people like to use this, the reset rotation, lay flat. I, I don't like messing with these. I actually like rotating it myself. I'm not even gonna bother showing you. You can play with them. Sometimes they work good, sometimes they don't. What I'm gonna show you is 
if you click on the rotation you can actually click on this and you can rotate it in you know 75 degrees 90 you see how it's saying what it is you could do that or you can actually click on one of these arrows this is a new feature in Cura 4.7 this wasn't here if you click on the arrows it actually go like 90 degrees so boom bam you can go back and you just click on the arrows and it, and it spins it around same thing with this one but there's your rotation all right so then you got your mirroring options you can mirror it the other way so I'm going the other way so he's looking the other way maybe you want to change it or you want to make him go the other way so that's just a mirroring option and then you have there's a lot of different options of adding supports taking away supports we're not going to get into these settings and we're not going to get into this setting either i'm going to show you the basics today so so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to size and we're going to do scale uniform and we're going to put this at 50 percent and it should change them all to 50%. So now we got a smaller model to work with. I'd highly recommend that you guys do smaller prints in the beginning just for the fact that you don't want to waste resin and you're learning and if you do the full size like the Batman full size it would just fails it's disastrous. If you do smaller prints you're able to see you know where you're going right where you're going wrong just to get an idea and I always start off with a small print and then I'll do a big print if I'm doing a big thing I try to do small just to see how things are coming out. So with that said go small and then build yourself up. So now we want to go to the part where if you look underneath here you'll see red and ignore this red that's touching the build plate worried about the red under his chin under his nose under his eyes those are all problem areas that when you go to print may not print correctly and you might get stringy looks like pasta under his chin because he had no support there and it won't build and this stuff can't build in midair obviously so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here I'm gonna click on supports and let's just see because this is a new version of this software let's just see how the supports get put in let's go to slice that's done we can save the file from here and you can save it to your desktop or save it right to the memory card if you have the memory card in there that's how you save the file but before we do that let's go to preview and it's this button right here or you can go up here and if you click on preview and this takes a little time to load you can actually see what it's gonna look like when it prints and not only can you see when it prints and we'll exit out of this right up here you can go by layer and that's the infill right there. I went with five because you don't need much infill. And that's the support in front of his face. And those actually break off pretty easily. And I'll show you that later on in the video after I'm done printing this. But you could see how it's printing. And then if you click on this one down here, you can actually see where the head will be or how it's going to print. So you can get an idea of what to look for when you're printing this or how it's going to print or if you need to do something different. If you just hover over this eye right here, it'll tell you your infill is going to take one hour and 15 minutes. Your inner wall is going to take 56 minutes and so forth and so on. But the main things you want to look at your supports, how long that's going to take 26 minutes isn't that much for supports at all. So that's pretty good. We got that down. Okay, so I didn't change the price so we don't have a price here which is kind of annoying so let's go up to ultra make a cure and we go to preferences and right where it says currency we're just gonna put a dollar sign so now it'll know what currency to use all right so that's all you have to do and we'll hit close if we go back to prepare and we click on tech bear we go to manage materials and we go to cost of filament which this cost me what was it i think it was 22 dollars and it was 1000 grams so now it knows cost per meter and we'll just close that and now it'll give you the price so this is going to cost me a whole 93 cents to print so if we go back to preview again you'll see that that's the price and you get an idea and that's it for this he's pretty much done and ready to go so we're going to export him out so let's save the file and we're going to save this to desktop because i don't have my card on it and we're just going to call this and i'm going to put an abbreviation for me tech bear TB and we'll put it to the desktop and it's gonna save as a GF code file and we just save that to the desktop and that's it there's one other thing I do want to show you when you go into preview mode if you go click here and I learned this like two weeks ago you can actually see different levels you can see the extrude extrusion you could see the travel so you can see the travel actually in and you can take off the shell so you can really see it you inner fill so that's the travel that it'll be doing we'll turn off the travel we'll turn off helpers and we'll just look at the shell so you can actually see that's the shell, the outer wall, if you will. 
the infill, we can actually see how much infill, like that's still a lot of infill. We could probably go down to 5%, but that shows you how much infill he has. And that's just a little helpful tip just for you guys to see. We'll put the helper back in there. You can actually see the helper too. So that's basically the app. We're gonna go ahead and print this and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So that was the app guys. Now we're gonna take a look at the print. Now here's the print and you gotta take the supports off and you could use snippers to do this or you could just gently pull it off like I'm doing right here. So I actually printed two of these for this video. I wanted to see, well, I did it for myself. I actually wanted to try two different types of materials to see how they would work. This one right here is actually Overtrue, I believe it's called, and I'll put the name of it right there. And Tech Bear, which I'm actually saying, it right, I, I'm saying it correctly, but I'm not spelling it correctly. So I'm gonna put the correct spelling right there. This is Tech Bear. This stuff is pretty impressive. It's a higher temperature and it actually withstands a lot, but there's an idea of, the two different models that I did, 5% infill, different heat temperature. So I showed you in the video the heat temperature for the Tech Bear, and that's this right here. This is actually the regular temperature. I only used 200 on the extruder for this one and 50 on the bed. For this one, it was 210 and 70 degrees for the bed. So, because that's what made it stick better. You know, you gotta play with this stuff, guys. You gotta really work it to get it to work right. But that's what these look like. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And ring that bell if you wanna see more of my videos if you haven't gotten tired of my crazy face yet and remember you can do anything if you put your mind to it later guys you're not doing a giant print and something goes wrong we wash up for dinner honey you're still here you haven't clicked on all these videos that i made or better yet like button or even better subscribe button just putting it out there